Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3, uh, doing the Blood and Wine DLC. We're gonna be doing Turn and Face the Strange Quest. It was a warm summer evening, or perhaps a cool yet sunny morning. The weather and time are of no impact. What matters is that day Geralt received a letter from Yennefer, who informed him about a most unusually discover- Unusually? Who informed him about a most unusually discovery- why wouldn't it just be about a most unusual discovery she had recently made? She'd found mention of research conducted by Professor Morier on Witcher mutations. It seemed that this professor workshop could be found in Tucson. Geralt, realizing the importance of this discovery, decided to find his, this laboratory. The first step would be to find the professor's journal, which according to Yen, had been buried with him. Alright, so that's pretty far away. Uh, I wanted to start this off... First of all, uh, the house, you know, in the last episode, it got completed. I will get that all set up, the inside of that house, and make it look badass um, by the time I finish this Let's Play. Uh, I think that's pretty safe to say I'll get that finished up. Second of all, I wanted to talk about where I've been. Um, mostly, it's just going to be a quick recap. If you want the full reason why I've been gone, or it was like a nine-minute explanation or something like that, um... Where the heck is this? Alright, so we gotta go down here. Uh, sometime here in the near future, I will go to these and grab the uh, new quests that are available, but not in this not, not in this episode. I want to do something in this episode. Um, this is an available quest. Blood and wine. Uh, I think I'll leave that for now, because that looks like something that'll stay up permanently. We can go back and check that out in a later time. Uh, but pretty simply, um, family, I think I talked about this maybe before in an episode. I don't know. It's kind of hard when I'm running three series. You know, some people don't watch all three series, obviously. So, um, I, I feel like I owe a little bit of an explanation. But the main explanation is on the Mirror's Edge video. I believe it's episode 12. It's, uh, helping, uh, Plastic, uh, with the Metagrid. Uh, but pretty simply, my family went on vacation to Chicago, or to, to Colorado, um, and they left me at home because I have summer classes I can't go. I can't miss two weeks of college. Like, I just can't. I can't miss, even though I'm only taking one class, um, I can't miss any time for it. I really just can't, so I don't get to go on this family vacation, which is not a huge deal. Uh, but also, uh, my dad and I went to the Cubs-Pirates game on Friday, Okay, why is Vibration back on? What the heck happened? Uh, but we went through the Cups Pirates game. I'm a Pirates fan. And how did Vibration get turned back on? How does that happen? Okay, let's search for this body. Uh, but we went to the Cups Pirates game. And so that, that took up Friday, which is a big day for me to record. Um, most of the... F oh, we got Hidden Treasure down there. Uh, let's go get that. Uh, most of the friends I hang out with, level 35, yeah, we can handle these. Uh, most of the friends I hang out with, we don't hang out on Fridays for one reason or another. Usually because, you know, we're college kids, we don't, we, we don't have established jobs. A lot of them have to work on Friday nights. Um, I'm lucky enough to work somewhere where they allow me, uh, right now during the summer, just because, I don't know, I didn't get to enjoy the summer at all last year, uh, because I had... I had my shattered heel issue, but, so I didn't get to enjoy any of the summer, and I really wanted to enjoy this year, and you know, I was honest, I went in there and I talked to my boss, and I just said, you know, I want to enjoy my summer, I want to hang out with friends and do all that stuff, because he, he knew, or, I guess, I, I guess my technical boss is a guy, but the, I talked to the lady, who's like second in command all the time, because she gets shit done, uh, let's read this letter really quick. Uh, letter is soaked through and falling apart. Can barely read. Or can barely be read. Bruce, don't do anything stupid. I know you buried Selena at the Beauclair Cemetery along with the rest of the loot from our last heist. Uh, remember, we deserve a cut of that too, so don't be an idiot. We all know you were her, fa her lover, uh, but remember, she was also the leader of our gang, and that's what really counts. We never got our share for knocking over that jeweler, Nathanberg shop. Uh, so burying Selena with all the loot is pure jackassery. 
Those treasures belong to us all. Uh, let's meet up and split things in an honest fashion. Then you can go drown yourself in the lake or hang yourself from any branch you choose. Robin. Alright, so let's go ahead and find the treasures in this. Uh, but I just went into my boss and I was like, is there any chance that, you know, I've been working there for two years. And I was like, is there any chance that I can, you know, get, I, I always have Sundays off. Um, they just give me Sundays off. Um, I do go to, I, I go to church and whatnot, but, um, not so much anymore. Um, but that's what I was for. And she just gives me an off. Um, she just lets me have, okay, why can't, why are none of these doors openable? Um, but they, they give me fr fr or Sundays off and I, I went in there and I asked them, you know, is, is it cool? I'm taking this summer class on Mondays. Um, you know, I, I have to ask that off, which they're fine with, because you're going to get two days off a week anyway. It just really depends on what two days you get. Can I not get into... Suspiciously loud for a cemetery at night. Okay, we're getting into, like, a weird territory with the main... Qu okay, we're going to not do that right now, because we're getting into a weird territory with the main quest and the side quest. And we'll just do that treasure hunt later. Okay, if I can get this set up correctly. Uh, but back to... Or wait, no. Till death do us part, do you part is the side quest. But it's not the side quest that I was doing, right? The side quest I was doing was... I don't even know what side quest I was doing anymore. Turn turn and face the strange is what I was... Okay. I guess let's just do this. Investigate... Oh my gosh, I can't walk up the stairs. But back to my story. Um, I went in there... And, you know, I, I just pretty much laid it out. I was like, Mondays I can't work. I, I, gotta, I gotta go to class. Uh, which, they're cool. Like, they're cool if you go to school. Um, but I was like, I gotta go to class. And Sundays, obviously, you know, that's the day that you guys just gave me. That's the, And I'm like, that, that's cool. I was like, is there any chance I can get a Friday or a Saturday off uh, a chunk of the time? You know, I didn't, I didn't get the... can't hear anything now. Search the cemetery. Okay, so. Damn it. Oh. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. Okay, so now we gotta hide. We gotta hightail it down here. First of all, before we do this quest, um, where's the treasure hunt that I was doing? Uh, Selena's gang. Okay, let's do this first. Hold up. Wait, is. Is this down below? I think this is down below too. Okay, we're just going down down below. Let's read the details on that quest that we're doing now over the quest that I read at the start of the episode. Uh, Till death do us part. Uh, while strolling through Beauclair, charmingly romantic streets, Geralt learned of a circumstance thoroughly charmless and unromantic. Come night, something was making much tastelessly grating noise at the city cemetery. Uh, but I went to, I went to her, her uh, you know, I was, like, in her office. I was like, yeah, I just laid this perfectly out for her. And so, noise is coming from here. And, you know, she... Okay, I think I need to shut Not up because... Not a soul. Strange. It doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair, either. Okay, so there's... Some... Mm, gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Louis de Corentin died on the day of Saint Zoetham's remembrance. Okay, is there another door? Yep. Oh, here we go. There are the people making noise. What the fuck are these weirdos doing? Okay, they are grave robbers. Alright, but I guess I can I can continue my story. Um but she said, okay, I'll I did this before like I got to summer, like we got to summer, and I was like she was like, Okay, well I'll get back to you since this doesn't need to be resolved right now and I was like, Okay, that's cool, whatever. And so she took like a week on it. When I'm in school, I never work with her. She works usually Mondays through Thursdays and on Sunday. Uh, so, 
that means I never work with her. I only work Fridays and Sundays, or Fridays and Saturdays during school. Uh, but that's irrelevant. So it was like a week or so, and she just came back to me, and you know, I, I, I thought it over, and I talked to a couple of the other managers, and you know, we decided, because I worked like six or seven days last year, because I couldn't do anything, so they had me just sitting where I listened to a radio and worked on different stuff. So I just like listened to East SPN and whatnot, and chilled. And so, I worked like six days a week because there was nothing else I could do. I couldn't go like to the beach and hang out with friends and I couldn't, I just couldn't do anything. I couldn't go to like a, like a baseball game, I just couldn't do anything. So I was like, well, I might as well go to work um, because I couldn't even, I couldn't even like go to the lake, um, go to the lake house because what the hell am I going to do there? Sit and watch everybody else have fun? Like, I couldn't do anything. I usually try to keep quiet, but who knows? I need to look around. But, like, I, I, I guess it's just me, but I just was like, well, I don't really want to go and just sit and watch everybody have fun, so I'm just going to go to work. Okay, so there's still more areas to go, but let's check around here still. No one probably cares about this story, like, they're like, just play the damn game, but I'm just gonna finish the story now, because it started. Um, so that one's already been grave robbed. Uh, but she came back to me in a couple weeks, and she was like, hey, uh, we talked. Okay, so there's orders from Robin. Uh, that foolish flat flatulence fluffer Bruce has tried to cheat us again, but he won't get away with it this time. Take a pickaxe, pickaxe and a shovel and pay our dearly departed boss a visit. Her kitty face was hizzy, hideous to look at even when she was alive. So the very thought of looking at it now she's dead gives me the bloody runs. Take the jewels, pearls, and other valuables bum nimbling Bruce tossed into her grave. Oh, and if you see the milk soap hanging around the cemetery, break his neck. Robin. P.S. Apparently ever since Selena's death... That kid's been moping near Orly Mears Cemetery, howling at the moon. If I know life, and I do, he's got with him the key to the chest we buried with that bitch. Perhaps we could uh, end his suffering by ending his miserable life in the lake. If he hasn't drowned himself already, that is. Okay, so this is probably the treasure. No, no, it's not. Wow! Or did they dig this? Oh, here we go. Journal kept by Quile the Gardener. There's a cat. Diagram to Sant Steel Sword. Chitinous Shell. Hardened Leather. Infused Crystal. Diamond Tear. Wow, this is some good stuff. Crowns. Silverware. Silver Amber Ring. Silver Emerald Necklace. Green Gold Ruby Necklace. And Journal kept by the Gardener, like I said. I guess we can go ahead and read. Oh, God. Okay, this is just days of service. I don't really think this is important. I'll leave that up here for five seconds. You can pause it and read it if you want. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. There's a cat. I don't know what the cat is doing here, but there's a cat. Uh, but I just want to finish the story. Um, so, she came back to me in a couple weeks, she's like, okay, yeah, so you worked, um, all that time, and, you know, we're grateful for that, uh, if you wanna just, you know, chill, you can have this, you can work whatever you want during the week, you know, um, some, something with, this is off topic, but, it's, or I guess it's on topic, but it's not related to me getting, but, you know, kids these days, man, they need to learn how to work because it's a joke. We like hire so many young kids to work where I work. Like, I don't work all the time, so I don't expect to get promoted. But I like halfway am promoted to being in charge of stuff, so um, I get a lot of input and I I meet a lot of the new people we hire as soon as we hire them. Uh, like I'll talk to them or train them or do whatever the hell uh, they need me to do f to help out and. These kids are so lazy, and they just suck at doing real work. It drives me insane. Like, 
What is wrong with your parents? How did they raise you to be, like, such a lazy worker? We have kids call off sick all the time. And I'm like, there's no way all these kids are sick. Like, I've worked for two years at this place. I'd say working an average of three or four days a week if you average out the summers where I work more. And, the, and literally, I've missed zero days. I haven't been, like, seriously sick once. And I haven't called off for anything. I called off when I shattered my foot, but you take that as what you want. That's like a really legit reason to call off sick when your heel is shattered in three different pieces and, you know, you're in the hospital getting uh, a metal plate and 13 screws inserted into your foot. I don't know if it gets any more legit of a reason than that to miss work. Um, but other than that, I haven't really, I haven't missed a single day of work because there isn't a reason to miss work. Uh, and I will continue to get up every day I have work and go to work. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just like exploring these catacombs for the heck of it. But this is like, this is like serious story time. What the hell? You can light all of those individual. Dude, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where this is taking me. But you can't get out any of the exits, so that's great. Um, where was I? I was talking about lazy kids. Um, but oh, they were like, "You're, you know, you're a good employee." I don't really think I'm like an extraordinary employee. Like I'm like some he leaps and I guess I am leaps and bounds above the regular employees that I just complained about being lazy. But. Um, I'm not like an extraordinary employee. Like I, I, I show up and do a good job. I do my job, which is what I'm paid there to do. That's that's all they should like. I, I show up every day and I do my job, which isn't an extraordinary thing to do, but it is nowadays because people are just lazy. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going here. I guess it's kind of telling me on my map. No, no, it's not. Because I'm selected on the main quest again. Uh, no, where is it? Till death do you part. Okay, so how... Wait, wait, wait. It's telling me to go back up this way. It wants me to go over here. Okay, so there's something I need to do in this room. Ah, uh, here we go. There's a lever Smashed, over there. as if someone threw it against the wall. Okay, but she came back and, you know, she said... Here lies Margot de Quarantin. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Okay, search for the source of the noises. And Okay, so now we gotta continue into the catacombs. Back into the catacombs. Ah! Uh, but noises she came back... clearly ba coming from that tomb. Impossible. What is over here? We didn't check this out. Is there... Okay, we already came this way. I remember. We came this way. Um, oh my god, the screaming that's repeatedly going on while you're in this catacombs is driving me insane. Uh, but like I was saying, uh, she just came back in and she said, No, you do a great... You do a good job. You come in every day, all that. Mm, Jipper. Something's not right. Need to hide, see how things play out. Okay, let's go ahead and hide. I'll let this play out and then we'll start talking. I'll, I'll, I'll continue my story. My long story that, that does have a conclusion. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some... some dwarf! Disgusting! Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. Mind keeping it down? Neighbors are complaining. Neighbors? Everyone here is dead! 
I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt! And this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him! He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent! Once, damn it, and as a jest! How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lebioda? Piety! That was my cause! The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting! How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times! Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so, and I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! What do you have to offer me? Because that, that's a proposition I'm willing to take, because I love Blast Gwent. It all. Had I those fairy cards at the tournament in Belhaven, I'd still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book-thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. How on earth am I supposed to believe that you know what- <sighs> Need to think about it. Alright, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me! Heretic, shut your mouth! I shall speak to you no more! No, no, it is I who shall speak to you no more, you old tart! I want those blank cards. Only way I can guarantee is wherever she hit them. I see you fell for that pious tart drivel. Drat! Ah, oh, well, then listen. I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah, once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and... I thank you. Hold up, hold up. Where are my Gwent cards? <laughs> hey. I better get my Gwent cards. Hold up. Where, hey, hey. Where are my Gwent cards? Dude, this is some horse BS. Like, I don't get those cards? Deeper in the catacombs. Right, let's go. Okay, well, I already killed the grave robbers over there. Uh, let me fit. Okay, never mind. Here we are. So I need to put the ashes. Chamber is Louis mentioned. Gotta be. Search the chamber. You will not find work here. Not paying work, that is. Hello? You gents also looking for that Gwent club? What the 
Invoking devils. Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, we're a plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat diddler, lads. <sighs> if I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Oh, shit. Come and get it, boys. I'll take the high ground all day. Est, est, okay. I will need to go probably find a merchant here at the end of this episode, because I'll probably be getting full on. Full on. I don't know do. Oh, no, never mind. We're not, we're about halfway. Okay, let's re- let's loot this. Ode to Gwent. I think we need to- oh my gosh, this is long, and it's a song. I'm not gonna try to sing it, because I don't know the tune, but... Proposal number seven for the Anthem of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. Author Stefan de Duve, Master Cooper. Uh, Gwent is like a ruddy wine. Gwent's a knight with a lady fine. When before you two armies clash, your mirrors melt off in a dash. Then you wish but to play, 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 but her indoors whines hit the hey, hey, hey. Such minds are dull as muddy yards, to think this but a game of cards. Gwen is my liberty, Gwent is my fraternity. Gwent relieves the day's sorrow, and Gwen is my morrow. Poker he had it, and dice is a bore. Oh, poker has had it, and dice is a bore. There's no other game that makes you want more. There are no better satisfaction, greater than Beauclair Bella's is its list of attractions, greater than even the festivals of drinks, or even a tipsy young minx. They can holler and shout, they can release the guards, I'm leaving home, I'm off to play cards. Gwen is my liberty, Gwen is my fraternity, Gwen relieves the day's sorrow, and Gwen is my morrow. Alright, let's go ahead and place this dude here. Right. High time Margo paid up. Yeah. Here we go. Give me my Gwent cards. Um Back to my story again. Uh she simply she came in and she was like, Yeah, you've been a good employee or whatever. You know, you can have whatever it is you want off this summer, you know, we got plenty of we got plenty of employees, you know, to deal with. Uh the summer, it's usually the fall, you know, that's our issue because kids are in school and whatnot and so she said you know just work whatever you want and I you know I'm just working on Tuesdays Wednesdays and Thursdays this summer and it makes it really nice Mondays I can go to school um, I get off and then I go and hang out with friends or family whatever uh, happens on Mondays you know go to work on Tuesday Wednesdays and Thursdays uh, Fridays is usually uh, time with hanging out with my mom not really like you know, just doing so with my mom, whether it's something simple, helping her with yard work, or, you know, she has a nice flower garden, you know, sometimes I help her out with that. She needs different stuff like that. But, you know, and then Saturdays is usually friend day, you know, I hang out with my friends on Saturdays if they have it off, and then Sundays is just a relax day. That's just my relax day. Um, this summer I've been going to church, church, so it's been church day, but it's like relax church day or whatever. Um, I have it be, but let's talk to her about my reward. Done. Now where you got those cards? Leaf the city through the Cooper's Gate, then veer right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden, beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. If she's lying through her teeth, I'm bringing his ashes back up. Might I ask what you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or privy. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. Okay, so let's go... Let's go get the, re the Gwent reward. Or no, I guess these are right here. Let's just get the reward for this. 
first of all. I um, once had the but my boss was really cool about it, so I'm only working minimal days. I don't even know where this story started. It's been so long. It took me 29 minutes to tell this story. Um, but essentially, you know, work in the middle. And then I have next week off. I took it off. Um, just it's to, I, don't know, I just here. I had time. I had to use pretty much. Uh, wait. You lads are all the same. Who am I talking to here? Is it the merchant? Welcome, Snow White. Wish to look over my goods? Stu did not just call me Snow White. What does this guy have for sale? Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. He does have a lot of money. Uh, so I'm going to sell this crap that weighs a lot but isn't worth a whole lot. The common crap that I don't need. Okay, I think we're good with all of that. Now, can you buy this random ju Okay, he can buy this random junk that I don't need. Wait, do I need the Zeracane? No, I don't think I do. I was thinking, do I need the Zeracanian stuff? I'm gonna keep the Zeracane... Okay, now I'm gonna have to buy the Zeracanian thing back for all the money I just made selling to him. He just made money off of that. That's ridiculous. Um... Okay, where, what are the items I need to sell him? Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and sell all this stuff. I don't need any of it. It's not worth much, but it weighs a lot. I think that's more than anything why I need to get rid of it. I've been keeping a lot of the hides, but we'll sell this batch that I have here. Also, this is just junk and it's worthless, but it's worth something. And it's just it's old habit, old habits die hard in this game. And my habit of looting literally everything—it's a hard habit. It dies hard. Okay, there are some stuff here that I don't want to sell. Like all of this stuff is keepable. Hmm, I don't sell any of my crafting materials. Let's go ahead and just sell all this stuff, I guess, while we're here. Yeah, we can sell literally all of this. Actually getting a decent amount of coin for it, too. You just need to take keep that, I think. Vicovaro. I'll keep the Vicovaro sword for now. Alright, so there's the selling. We're back over ten grand. I just need to find out where this dude is that I turned this quest into. Where do I, I turn married this? a dopey dullard. Mother said he was. Ah, here's the listened. Here's the stairs. A oh. cockerel in your cup's piece is worth two in the bush. Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. Took care of it. Truly? The howling's gone? For good? Wonderful! Ah, to sleep in my own bed again, at long last! But, but, what was it? Some ancient filth entombed deep in the catacombs. Yeah, really tough, demanding fight. Barely made it out alive. Is it your codex? Forbids you from revealing the details? For the best, I dare say. There's a small premium for you. You've earned it. I married a dopey dullard. Oh, a hundred crowns. Oh, buddy. Man, you really broke the bank with that. Alright, let's go get our Gwent cards. This is more, this is the more important part. I would have taken no money if these Gwent cards are good. I swear if I get there and there are no Gwent cards, I'm going to be heated. I'm going to go 
smash that lady's ashes and take them down to her husband and throw them in his jar. They can fight for eternity in the same urn. I don't even remember the premise of why I started telling that story about how I got less time, how I got less hours, or how I don't work as much as I thought I would have to this summer. I totally forget the context. But it doesn't matter, you guys know the context, I maybe. You guys might have forgot by now like I did, because it seems like it's been that long. Fuck, I told that story, it feels like it took me two hours to tell that story. Medallion's humming. Something's oh god, I'm not quite right. <gasps> My bad. Oh god, where's the most recent? It's gonna be when I, when I talk to that guy and finish the finish the, the main part of the quest. I'm almost 100% sure that'll be my last save point. But in the next episode, maybe I'll go ahead and continue main quest, or maybe I'll finish up that quest that I started and then ran into these two side quests that I ended up doing. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. But I do have to finish up this quest first of all, of course. Alright, it finally is loading. I was like, why is it stuck? It was like stuck at the first little portion of loading. This game, though, it legit... Takes forever to get in, to load in. Hello, game. Let's go. Dude, this is like a two minute loading screen, it feels like. This is some crazy crap, dude. Bro, like really, Witcher, why? This loading time is ridiculous. I would have be better to never travel if this is the actual loading time for everything. I would seriously be better to run. Yeah, I knew this would be my checkpoint, but... Um, I would be better to run everywhere than the fast travel at that speed. That's ridiculous. Be an old man by the time I get anywhere through the loading screen. Oh, this this kills me. I would have lost my mind. Alright, let's get this quest over with and get this video to an end. Hmm. I'm going to follow the actual path that the game wants me to follow. I'm not jumping off the roof anymore after that loading screen. Oh, hold on. I can just go right through this little area here. All right. Medallion's humming. Something's not quite right. Is there a wraith? You, that bitch! If this is her fault, if, this, if I find out this was her doing... What the hell is this thing? 
push. All right. Uh, find them? Just like she said. And the Gwent cards, as promised. All right, what Gwent cards did I get? What the? What Gwent card did I get? Or cards, or what the? Usually they pop up on the side. What did, what did we get? I gotta know. Okay, don't see anything new there. So nothing new for the Northern Realms. Anything new for Scoia'tael? It's kind of hard because I don't know what I already had, but that doesn't look like anything for Scoia'tael. Um, maybe something in the Skellige deck? I actually really don't even know what I got. I might have to look it up. Okay, hold on. I'll do it in video here so I can tell you guys what. If that quest was called Till Death Do Us Part, right? Please be at the top of my completed quest. It's not. Um, it was Till Death Do Us Part. Okay, let me see here. Oops. Why is my space my space bar is like not working on my iPhone? Okay, this isn't Okay, hold on, let me edit this real quick I my space bar was put in periods okay here we go is a side quest in the witcher 3 blood and wine dlc Several, it just says several reward, several Gwent cards. Okay. Okay, I don't know what the Gwent cards are. It just says several Gwent cards. I will look at one more video or one more thing here. Okay, so they are Bruxa Monster and Barclay L. Scoyatel. Uh, and you only get them if you didn't already have them. So that's a complete waste. Real quick, before I call an episode. Nope, we can't. Oh, we can go into their house. Hold up. Garden Key? Okay, hold up. Before I call this an episode, we gotta check out this house. Since they're both dead, they don't need whatever's in here. Yeah, so that's kind of pointless. The quest. Um, the Gwent card part of the quest, because if you already have them. Okay, so that's locked. That doesn't open with the garden key. I don't really know what the garden key is for, then. Ooh, one platter. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, I'm not sure what the garden key, I'm assuming it just opens this out here. Yeah, it just unlocks that. And then probably unlocks this one over here, yep. No! Lock, key required. Alright guys, though, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Peace out!